What's up guys? Welcome to a windy Sunday in Cape Town. So today I thought I would show you my new bike which is a Triumph Daytona 675R 2013 model and um, you're probably wondering why did I sell my 2020 uh, Street Triple RS for this. So the main reason is that a lot of the guys in my biking group aren't really riding on the road anymore and doing a bit more track day uh, stuff so uh, I thought why am I paying so much money every month for a street triple when I can just get something cheaper and a bit more track focused um, and uh, uh, one of the other options was uh, options other reasons was that I haven't actually owned a sport bike since 2015 so if anybody has been watching my channel for that long which I doubt um, I had a 2005 Honda CBR 600RR uh, which I had for all of three months and then got rid of it because it was too uncomfortable but looking back and thinking about it uh, that, had, that was only about six months into my riding career when I started riding and I don't think I could appreciate that bike uh, for what it was and how to ride it properly because so I was still learning so now seven years later I've ridden a bunch of sport bikes thousands naked tourers all kinds of things uh, I thought I'd give it another go uh, my friend has one actually we have two in our riding group and um, they are flipping awesome uh, I've ridden both as well I've ridden them a couple of times on this road but not long enough to get a, a real world a real world feeling for how the bike um, is to own uh, and ride to work every day so that's pretty much what this is so yeah I bought this bike uh, it was fully stock standard um, besides the tail tidy um, I have done a few things since I got it um, so most notably I put my old bar in mirrors on uh, and now I can actually see what's happening behind me um, the original mirrors are basically useless if you're riding in an upright position like while you're commuting you keep having to look down and uh, it's not very safe these are actually really good and you can do a quick glance and check behind you <laughs> and then I made some uh, homemade blank offs so basically this is just some thick plastic with a black uh, allen head cap screw uh, I actually wanted to get domes to match these but the place I went to didn't have stock so I must just replace those then I kept my Yoshimura 82 from my street triple and had a nice link pipe made uh, sounds flipping awesome really nice nice and smooth uh, and then oh then the tech spec tank grips I also kept from my street triple and the uh, tank pad as well uh, and then the EvoTech tail tidy came with the bike um, so yeah that's basically it um, really enjoying it I've done a, a few laps up and down um, I'm warm the bike's warm so let's just start it up see what it sounds like or I know what it sounds like I'll let you guys hear it <laughs> So at idle it's actually very quiet, uh, much quieter than the 765 was, uh, you can actually talk over it and hear the traffic and stuff, but when you really get into the revs it sounds amazing. So yeah, super stoked with that, so um, let's hit the road and uh, do a lap. As I talk you through it, it's super windy now. Uh, so the conditions are not great. Still recording? Yeah. So I'm slowly getting used to the riding position of this bike. Oh, the other thing I did was I also opened up the angle of the clip-ons. You can see they're quite 
flat. Um, standard, they are more down like this. I didn't like that kind of position. I like out, like handlebars. Um, it feels great, really comfortable. Handling feels awesome. Whoa, it's windy. myself so one of the main things I need to get used to is how my upper body uh, is utilized on this bike so with a naked my riding style is obviously very upright and with the naked you're up like this and you're just basically leaning off the bike you don't really need to get your head down um, body position isn't super important on a naked bike um, it's more about lower body so trying to unlearn what I've learned <laughs> for the past seven years is going to be a bit of a challenge um, so the main thing that struck me while learning to ride this bike uh, is how low you've got to get your upper body and your chest and everything. Um, I've never really learned the super bike riding position because obviously I've never had one. So every time I rode them they it always felt a little unnatural and that was probably the main reason why I didn't enjoy them very much. Um, and also the low clip-ons always felt like I was falling over the front But now that I'm actually riding the bike this feels pretty natural to me I've done I think three or four laps now um, Then the second thing is the leg triangle is very very high up um, And I'm finding that changing up Changing gears up while leaning is a bit tough um, I feel like my foot doesn't have enough space to move um, I also need to adjust the angle of the gear lever I think it's a bit too low Oh, it feels good uh, Yeah, I think the gear lever is a little bit too low I considered changing it this morning and then I thought no let me just let me just try how it is uh, and see I mean it really doesn't feel that bad at the moment but when you're going fast it's it's quite apparent that it's in the wrong position um, next thing is obviously braking and downshifting into the corners so this bike does not have a blipper your right hand is the prefer so you need to rev match and if you don't want to rev match you're just gonna have to feather the clutch out a bit um, which feels decent um, it kind of feels like there's a little bit more uh, braking a little bit more uh, engine braking control To that I, I find that trying to blip and break is not really working for me but it's something I need to practice traffic cop sitting up there on that hill and he's got a speed camera hiding in the guardrail very sneaky so the end part the end part of the guardrail that oh shit the end part of the guardrail that uh, loops around he puts the camera in there uh, so it's very hard to see and it's black uh, and this area is obviously in the shade so you don't go past there I have tried to wheelie this bike, it's quite different trying to wheelie a sport bike as opposed to a naked. 
need a lot more practice. That was a pretty bad one. I've done higher ones, but it still feels kind of strange. Oh, these brakes are good. I almost feel like they're better than the 765s M50s. Even though these are also M50s and they're really old. This, oh, oh no, but this has ABS. I wonder why. So, the braking power on this setup feels stronger than my 765, even though the 765 had a newer and different master cylinder. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the master is on the 765, I just know it's not an RCS 19 or 17 or whatever. And this is a standard Brembo radial master cylinder that loads with bike suits, but the this just seems a bit more, a bit stronger. So yeah, um, I'm really liking this bike so far. It's going to take a little while to get used to all the little bits and pieces of it. The riding position, gearing, braking. Um, I have a track day next Saturday, so that will be a good shake down. But I really needed to get out here today to get a feel for just how the bike handles. Um, I put in the standard sport settings from the manual and it's feeling pretty damn good. Um, I haven't set my preload yet, my SAG settings, I have no idea what they would be or what they are currently. So I need to do that, but uh, so far the bike feels really nice. Maybe the rear is a little bit, a little bit bouncy, but not bad. Uh, this is all part of learning a new bike. So yeah, I'm gonna spin some more laps, get used to the bike. Probably just burn out a whole tank of fuel. Um, and uh, hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!